Hello there, friends and enemies. Welcome to the video that you're watching right now. We here at Mediocre Gaming have made the stark realization that we cannot call ourselves a game publication without having a single list. So here it is. The top five most emotional games of all time. That's a lie. We're just gonna call this Mediocre Gaming's top five emotional games. There's no possible way a person could measure every game that's ever come out to see the most emotional. In order to qualify for this list, a game has to have provoked an emotional response from me, meaning that I had to have cried during playing the game. Yes, I've cried at video games. Everyone has. If anyone tells you they haven't, they're lying. This would have been a top 10 list, but I couldn't think of 10 games that made me cry. Anyway, Let's get onto the list. Starting strong at number five, we have Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. I played this game sitting in my car in the darkened parking garage of the college I was attending at the time, and I sobbed as I was finishing the game. This was the first Final Fantasy game I had ever played, and obviously this reaction really set my expectations high for the entire series. I actually wrongly attribute this game to being the first game that made me cry, which isn't true. That spot is actually reserved for number four, The World Ends With You. The World Ends With You is my favorite video game of all time. And upon finishing the game for the first, the second, the third, and every other time after, I have cried at the ending of this game. Specifically speaking, the DS version. The Switch version has different music, so the emotional reaction isn't the same. Point being, this is the first game that ever made me cry. I didn't know a game could do that. Number three, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Kingdom Hearts stands currently as my favorite game series of all time. I would say the world ends with you, but I don't feel right calling two games a series. Anyway, anyone that's played Days knows that it is probably the most emotional Kingdom Hearts game. Some other people would probably say Kingdom Hearts 1. I disagree. The entire part with Xion is the saddest thing to happen in the Kingdom Hearts series. Number two, To the Moon. To the Moon, if you haven't played it, is an RPG Maker game, and it made me cry so hard. Are you getting uncomfortable at the amount of times I've talked about crying in this video yet? I hope so. If you haven't played To the Moon, and you like emotional games, and games with good storytelling, you should play To The Moon. Now before we get to number one, let's give our honorable mentions to Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance and to Life Is Strange. You can make fun of me for liking Life Is Strange, but I'm not ashamed, you see. This is also the point in time to be happy that this wasn't the bad timeline where I would have put Persona 5 on this list. Mediocre Gaming's number one most emotional game, as anyone probably would have guessed, is Undertale. Undertale is the only game that made me cry not only on multiple playthroughs, but at multiple different points in time in the game. Undertale is also just a really good game. If you haven't played it, you really should. Well, there we go. That was Mediocre Gaming's Top 5 Emotional Games, a list video that is not at all evergreen and will probably evolve over time. Thank you for joining this weirdo on probably the weirdest gaming video you've watched at least this week. Until next time, drink your water.